Ever wished your home server was as small as your sandwich but packed enough power to run your digital empire? Well, buckle up, because the Zima Board 2 has entered the chat, and this thing is basically a pocket-sized powerhouse for tech nerds, home lab junkies, and anyone who wants to flex that I self-host everything vibe. Let's break down what makes the Zima Board 2 such a big deal in such a tiny body, and whether it's worth your hard-earned cash. So, Zima Board 2 is basically a single board server. Think of it like a mini PC, but built for grown-up geeky things like running your NAS, media server, router, or smart home hub. It's made by Ice Whale Technology, the same crew behind the original Zima board, which was already a hit with the DIY crowd. But version 2 takes everything up a notch. Under the hood, it's rocking an Intel processor N150, a quad-core Twin Lake chip that clocks up to 3.6 GHz. Translation? It's fast enough to juggle your Docker containers, Plex streams, and local AI toys without breaking a sweat. Well, almost without breaking a sweat. There are two models, the 832 with 8GB of LPDDR5X RAM and 32GB eMMC storage, the 1664 with 16GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. And before you ask, yes, you can add your own drives, because it's got two SATA 3.0 ports plus a PCIe 3.0x4 slot for expansion. That's right. You can slap on extra storage, an SSD, or even a fancy network card if you're feeling spicy. The back of this little guy is like a nerd's dream. You get dual 2.5 GBE LAN ports because why settle for gigabit when you can double it? There's a mini DisplayPort 1.4 for video output, and you've got dual SATA ports with power, perfect for building your own compact NAS or backup rig. It's got enough connections to make a router blush. And here's the kicker. It's completely fanless. That's right. No noisy fans whirring in the night. Just glorious silence and a sleek metallic body that acts as a giant heatsink. Though, to be fair, if you push it too hard, it might get warmer than your laptop watching a 4K Netflix marathon. Unlike most tiny computers, the Zima Board 2 runs on x86 architecture, meaning it plays nice with most operating systems. Linux, Windows, you name it. That opens up a lot of possibilities. Want to run Docker containers for your apps? Easy. Host Plex or Jellyfin for your movie nights? Piece of cake. Turn it into a router, firewall, or AI node? Go wild. It even comes with its own operating system, Zima OS, a Linux-based system designed for simple self-hosting. It's clean, easy to use, and has a slick web interface. But if you're a hardcore tinkerer, you can simply nuke it and install Ubuntu, Debian, or any other flavor of Linux that suits you. But hold on, let's keep it real. No gadget is perfect, right? First downside is the fanless design. Cool and quiet? Yes. But under heavy load, this thing can throttle like it's trying to protect itself from a meltdown. Run too many VMs or Plex transcodes, and you'll start smelling... disappointment. Then, there's no built-in Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It's wired only, so if you were hoping to stick it on your desk wirelessly, grab a USB adapter or a network cable. And finally, the Zima OS experience is... kinda polarizing. Some users love its simplicity, Others say it feels a bit locked down compared to full Linux. So yeah, it's one of those you'll either love it or wipe it situations. If you're the kind of person who says, I could just host that myself every time you see a new cloud service, this board is for you. All in all, the Zima Board 2 is one of those rare devices that hits the sweet spot between performance, portability, and geek appeal. So yeah. If you've ever wanted to build your own server, NAS, or mini data center, the Zima Board 2 might just be your new favorite toy. That's it for this one.